G'day guys, it's Ninja here, and it's Jason. Jason you might not hey, recognise him. Hey, here. It's a <laughs> She's a bit, beautiful day here. It's a bit bright out, it's so I need to protect the eyes, otherwise yeah. I'll be squinting a bit too much. You've so. got his driving glasses on there. <laughs> They're actually prescription. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> actually a fashion statement. Yeah. Yeah. They look good on you, I like it. I like it, they work, don't they? I like it, yeah. It's good. So we, this is a little bit of a series of um, videos we're doing, so you can look at the others as well. But um, yeah, we're going to talk about the year that was MMT and the culmination of what it was, our celebration. So we're going to talk about what we did last week. Um, we had our challenge, an eight month challenge for everybody in the team, including digital, which <laughs> Leo, you're on the camera there. Good work, Leo. Yeah, we wanted to do a lifting session. So you get double your body weight for a deadlift, one and a half times for a squat, do 20 pull-ups and 50 push-ups and complete a sprint session. So we want to talk about you know, the lift, the sprint, and also our party, and maybe about your year yeah. that you had, mate. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, let's, have a, let's so, have a chat. Yeah, so I'm going to work on his knee. He's got a little bit of a patella thing going on down here. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. And it's probably like a, a treatment that we do when we're doing um, maintenance. Someone comes yeah. in, they've got a bit of a niggle, but we can have a chat, so it's not too complex. Not we too can, focused. Yeah, not too Just... focused. We can, um, yeah, enjoy human company that's human it connection. interaction yeah and yeah. that's a priceless thing that we is often not really talked about but it's something that we all crave we're all you know innately lonely <laughs> but um when we um around like-minded people people that we jam with um it's just yeah we love it it's it easy up. yeah yeah it it. charges your battery so encourage everyone to get your batteries charged any way that you can that's but it. in a healthy way because we can kind of go for instant gratifications and you know get on the booze or whatever That's these it. things that shopping you know all these things that we can do that short-term fixes short-term fix yeah. you feel good but then um there's a, a low that comes with that as well there's emptiness but um when you're around other humans that that just keeps on going it doesn't kind of it takes a while for those batteries to get Low That's again. It. Yeah. Doesn't you it, don't so. get tired, do you, when no. you're doing the thing you like? That's it. That's what DMAR says, isn't he? He does. You can do it 18 hours a day when you're doing <laughs> don't, it. Don't know about yeah. that. But the, the energy comes. He's a bit different, DMAR. <laughs> no, but DMAR, yeah. he's, a, he's a weapon. He's a weapon. <laughs> he's, he's something else. He's been my man for he has. a long time. Yeah, yeah. You've spoken about him since day dot when yeah. I started. It Got was... you guys to do the breakthrough. <laughs> yeah. Do the weekend. Bloody and... hell, that was... What is it like? Twenty four hours, pretty much. Yeah, twenty four hours in, within a weekend. It's brutal. Probably longer, isn't it's it? It's probably longer. Yeah, yeah longer than twenty four. At least twenty four. I think hours we went till like one thirty or two o'clock in the morning the first day. Yeah, from seven thirty in the morning oh, when the registration is. It's yeah, and it's, you front up again. It's something else. Nine till seven or yeah. something the next day. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so let's bring it back to the bring back bit to more <laughs> current <laughs> moment. Um, so, tell us about you know, the challenge for you. So it was probably a bit different to people that don't, weren't doing our lifts as regularly. You run the Tuesday night lift club yeah, in yeah. Richmond. Yeah, Tuesdays in Richmond, yeah. So, um, yeah, what I want to talk to you about is the rivalry, rivalry, <laughs> yeah. rivalry, the rivalry, <laughs> rivalry, the rivalry, 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 rivalry with, with, well, with, with Alan. Alan. <laughs> the power the rivalry that you had <laughs> between Alan, the guy over there, sunning himself. Like He's now. getting a tan as well. Yeah. yeah. So the power rivalry between <laughs> you and Alan, because you're in different gyms. So we were here. That's it. Yeah. You guys, Monday you guys night. lift on Monday nights in Fern Tree, and I yep. lift on Tuesdays yep. in Richmond. So yep. we don't see each other that often. Yeah. Different Obviously, plates, different venues. That's it, different venue. I, oh, I've got an uneven ground in Richmond yep. and it's flat out here. Yeah. So it's all... all... Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> weights are lighter in Richmond. Weights are lighter. I reckon they're, they're heavier. So it was bloody mind games between these two. <laughs> they were kind of saying what each other had done, no. how many reps, what weight, all that kind of stuff. And there was sort of a bit of... Um, this thing going on I had all to check year. in where he was and yeah. see, make sure I was on track with where he was at. Yeah, because so. th these guys had a, a pretty big... Um, Goal, goal yeah. yeah to get their 220 kilos was well beyond their double their body weight yeah. so um it's going for three times yeah so, so it was a eight long months yeah so tell us a bit how you went about it and um your mindset and the rivalry <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna keep saying it um yeah well, i guess my mindset was well we did the advanced course at the start of the year so i got 210 at the end of that so that was a new pb for me um and then throughout the year, like I had footy season through winter. So for me, it wasn't, it was trying to just maintain and keep it at like what, I, what I'd say is a normal level for me. So like keeping my one rep max at 200, but I wasn't really pushing to go heavier through that footy season. Um, 
But then I knew once footy finished, I was like, all right, I'm gonna have a real crack at it. Um, so I think this year was the, probably the most I've actually structured my lift clubs and um, actually got, built my lifts off percentages and actually had a set program. So I rotated through like seven or eight week cycles where I did a few weeks of lifting four sets of five working sets at uh, 70% and then we went two, two or three weeks lifting at 80% for three reps and then I'd do an 80 and 90% and then I'd test after that. So that way I could keep track of where I was at but also incremental progression. So that was sort of what I was doing. And then, yeah, once footy season finished, I think I was at about two, 210 again. Um, and then, yeah, I thought, well, let's have a real crack here. And cause I had a feeling like, I don't think Aaron and I had really said to each other at that stage, but I was like, I knew like there'd be a bit of a friendly competition there. And um, I think Aaron had actually got 215 before I had. So I was like, oh, I want to catch up to him. I don't want him to get too far ahead of me. Um, and it's just something that I could aim for and be like, well, he got it, so let's let's see if I can get it. Yep. Um, so yeah, that was, and it was good to, in my Tuesday classes, a few people that were uh, catching up to my strength. So they were sort of pushing me as well and I could stay at their level or yeah. like make sure that I was still doing just that bit more than them so that I could, yeah, yeah. still putting the work in. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, that was sort of how I set up my, my year. And yeah, yeah, I knew from, I think, I think eight weeks out from our lift, I did my last testing um, in my Tuesday crew when I got 215, yeah. um, but I'd been working my percentage off 220 and 215 felt pretty good. So yeah, yeah I was uh, pretty pretty confident. It was just a matter of how I was feeling on the night of when we did the, the final strength testing. Yeah. Um, Cause sometimes with the lifts, you just don't know. Like sometimes you come in with all the intention of lifting heavy, but you just, I don't know, your energy's off or you've had a bit of a shit night's sleep or I don't yeah. know, you might not have prepared right. So yeah, yeah. that's what it's all about, that um, competition in the end, yeah. wasn't it? That's, yeah. that's what draws things out of you. You're kind of, when you've got something to, to aim towards and competition, it kind of, you find- You put the work get in. Get the most out of yourself. Yeah. You, you reach your potential and it was, that's where healthy kind of competition, mm. it's, well, it's, that, it's about our health, isn't it? In yeah. the day, we want to be strong, vital, you know, capable humans. It's, yeah. The body's an instrument, not an ornament, we say, don't we? That's so right. It's, it's what you can do, how you can move, what you can, how you can perform. Yeah. So it was a, a test to performance. So we didn't want to be injured. We wanted to be cherry ripe. Yeah, you got to peak at the right time. Peak at the right time. Yeah. So that's what it's all about. So it was a test of a lot of different things. And yeah, so it was good. So, so we bring forward to last Monday. Yeah. How was um, the night for you? Yeah. Oh, it was, yeah, so good. Like, you, you never know coming into these nights. Like we had told everyone like what, eight months we gave them notice. And it's like, okay, I hope you'd, we weren't sure if everyone had been training for it. Like we knew some people had been putting the work in and, um, but I guess it was just good to see like everyone just had a crack. Like not everyone was at the same level as Aaron and I. Like we've been training for what, seven years pretty consistently. Um, but yeah, just to see people summon some strength that they haven't, probably haven't done before. Uh, but everyone was just getting around each other. Like whenever someone was going for a PB, we made sure that there was only one person lifting so everyone could sort of pump them up and make sure they had that support. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just to see people grind through, I think was amazing. Like, yeah. and yeah, some of the reactions you saw, like people were sometimes happier for other people to get their PB yeah. than themselves. So, yeah. um, and I think, cause we were probably one of the last to try our PB. So it was good. Like we sort of had that build up of like, oh, yeah. Jarek had smashed his. I think Jarek got three times his body weight as well. Yes. Um, superhuman. Isn't yeah, it? superhuman. You Inspiring. you did one sixty or seventy, which you hadn't done for years. So yeah. that sort of was like set the tone. I think like yeah. seeing you wind back the clock a few years yeah. and um, yeah. yeah and, but it was also a bit different because Aaron and I we were on the same bar, but we had different approaches. Like I'd ha had a set plan in my head because when I got my two fifteen, I had five, four, three, two, and then ones after that, where Aaron didn't want to do as many reps, yeah. and he wanted, to, and I wanted to jump up a bit higher and go a bit heavier, but he wanted to sort of so, uh, go a bit less. Bit of mind so, games. No, there, not was mind it? games, it was just our different just approaches. Different like, approaches. Yeah, like I wanted to do two, two on like 170 or something like that. And Aaron was like, no, I don't want to do that. That's going to cook me. So yeah. it was just that interesting thing of like, yeah, we had our own approach, but it both worked for, for us. So. Didn't put each other off? No, you know, I, I don't think so. Kind of stuck to your guns. I think we were still, like, although there was competition, we were still like, nah, we want each other to get it. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, and how did it feel when you it lifted? Was, yeah, good, good. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. It's just a good, good thing to get it up, and yeah, I don't know. It's yeah. just it's grind. <laughs> it's was it? It, is. it was. So yeah, it's it a bit of a battle. I suppose because you've done the work, you kind of had the. You'd build yeah, all the. Yeah, I had a bit of the pathways, like, the I strength, thought, the muscle. Yeah, I confidence. thought because two fifteen was pretty good, so I was yeah. like, I had a feeling I had it. Yeah. Um, I'm sort of a bit like Aaron did say it on the night. Oh, should we go and try a bit more? And yeah. I said, no, nah, no, nah, I'm happy to leave it there. Yeah. But now I'm sort of in the back of my head. I'm like, well, it's coming up to Christmas. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I probably won't have another chance until yeah. uh, like probably January because you have a few weeks off where I won't lift as much over Christmas. So yeah, uh, maybe I should have had a crack while yeah. I was in my prime. But no, nah, that's <laughs> all right. We we got there. So yeah. just gives myself a new goal to get to before um, before footy season next year. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. Uh, yeah. So the, I suppose so. The, the deadlift was the big thing for you guys, but um, where you probably really excelled was on the squat. Yeah, so <laughs> I got a PB on that. Yeah. Um, squats is different. Like I think we always say it. Squats is so much more mental because with a deadlift, you you either lift it or you can't. Like if you can't lift it, then it's fine. But a squat, you you can get it off the rack, but if you start going down, it's not necessarily going to come back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think for me, that's always been a little bit of in the back of my head of like on Tuesday nights especially, like you want to make sure you have people that know how to spot properly. Yeah. Um, so I'd got 150 before, um, but then the last time I tested, I, there wasn't the, there was one person that was a good spotter that wasn't there. So I didn't have that confidence to try it again. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then on, on Monday, yeah, just with getting the deadlift PB and I was like, well, I can't just, we'll sit out in the squat, so. Um, I didn't think I'd get 160, so I thought I'll just, we don't normally go up in fives, but I thought, well, yeah. I'll just tack five on because I, yeah. I knew I'd done 150 before. So yep. 155, I was like, well, I can be happy with that because I've got a little bit extra. Yep. So yeah, 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 felt good. Yeah. Bit of a grind, like there's that little hesitation where I was about halfway up. I was like, yeah. might need some help here, yeah, but yeah. no. You keep on got, pushing, no, you keep yeah. on standing up. Yeah, because you got that fear something. of like, oh, I don't want to be stuck at the bottom. Yeah. There's, there's nothing worse than you. You get down the bottom and yeah, because I remember at the adva the end of the advanced course we did in what was that the end of January or February something like that, and I that I was doing 140 and as soon as I took it off the rack I was like nah this is not coming mm -hmm. as soon as I was going down I knew it wasn't coming back up but yeah um, yeah there's there's, yeah. A, there's a real courage thing is there to just dive in I think that's what you su you sum it up bottom. so well like there's yeah. courage just getting under the bar yeah. and doing even doing the deadlifts yeah. it's still courage to to do it and. Mm. Uh, Not many people incomplete a squat. They don't know where the limits are. Mm. You know, there's a lot of fear, so you don't really push and find out exactly what yeah. you're made of. And and kind of when you are on those edges of your PB, like to really push up when you feel like oh it's heavy, I'm, I don't think I can do it. I don't, and then but to will yourself to stand I up. I think there was a few of those yeah. as well. Like I think it was Jerick and yeah. Maddie. Like they were so close to like that mm. point where it was like they nearly needed help, but. Yeah. Something in them just went, nah, yeah. oh, I'm going to do it myself. Yeah. And yeah, it's like you more, almost see something change in that person, don't you, when yeah. they do it? Like, yeah, like yeah. I can I can fucking do it myself. Like, yeah. And yeah. I think we've said it a lot, like in some of our team meetings, like you say, like there's something to just strength training that brings something else out of you, like yeah. your persona, your, how you approach life is a bit mm. differently. Like, yeah. I think you've chatted with Scotty about this because he was never really a lifter, he was more in the mental stuff, but. You do see a change in people's mm. posture, how they are. Yeah, yeah, they're more confident. Yeah, like, yeah, I'd never deadlifted before I started at MMT, and yeah, I just think it just yeah. brings something else out in you. It changes your life, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, and it's, I talk about this a bit, but it's just that raw, primal, guttural yeah. thing, and but it, you kind of find stuff that you didn't even know. Mm. It's been kind of locked in your body, but then it kind of all comes together, and you can just just formulate it and get it to, to help out you. Every sinew, every morsel of, your, of is, your being comes into it. It's not just the physical, it's the mental, the spiritual yeah. kind of comes through and there's something that helps you lift up. And no one else can do it for yeah. you. Like yeah. in other like team sports, like you can have teammates come and help you out, but no one else can lift that weight for you or yeah. get it up. So yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a beautiful something thing. something special about it. Yeah. So tell me about your Push-ups, your pull-ups, how did yeah. that go for you? Um, so pull-ups are probably, like I've always, I guess comparing myself to you and Das, I've never probably been as good at pull-ups. Um, like I, I was pretty confident I could get 20, but um, I'd ne like 20 was sort of at my max. Yeah. Um, so to get 24, which was a PB, was PB. Good. Yeah. Good man. Um, 
Yeah, but then uh, obviously seeing the ninja guys rip out 50 was, <laughs> <laughs> was pretty, uh, yeah. pretty um, That's just insane. Epic, wasn't like, it? Yeah. They just kept going. And yeah. I remember like I did, my, I must have done my 23rd or my 24th or something. And I was, Matt's just like, just hang there. And I'm like, hanging's not helping. Like, but they <laughs> That's just, not a rest. They just do it with such ease and just hang with one arm. But I was yeah. hanging there. I was like, no, nah, this is just zapping me more. Mm. So, I can't even hang for one second <laughs> with one arm. And they're doing it for a rest. Yeah. And my seconds. body, when I hang with one arm, yeah, just flops just this flop way. And, and fall on the ground. Oh. Um, so, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. Push-ups, I didn't do as well as I have previously. Yeah. Um, but I don't, know, I don't know if I'd push myself in everything else. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was a, for me that was the last thing. So I was, and I'd fallen off the off the bar. Yeah, you'd smacked it pretty <laughs> so I hard. Smacked the back of my head. So yeah. I was sort of was. I uh, got to fifty and said, nah. Yeah. It's just the men mentally, I was cooked. But I the thing is, of, I still got to the target. So. Yeah. Yeah, I did what I had to do. As a bloke that's going to be fifty in a couple of months, that's right. I was pretty happy with yeah, fifty. Yeah, I'd be happy with that if I'm still doing fifty at fifty. Yeah. I've got thirty years to get there. <laughs> yeah. Twenty years, sorry. Twenty. So I'm giving you a bit of curry. Oh. So if we kind of um, move forward through the week, we got to Friday. Yeah, got so to Friday, the sprints. Sprints, tell me about sprints for you, man. You, yeah, you, you... sprints is something that, yeah, I, again, I started when we started here. And I think, oh no, I think my first year I didn't really do sprints because we, Aaron and I were sort of running multiple lift clubs. And then you said, nah, come to sprints. And, the best, it's the main thing. I, hmm. The thing is, I was always a consistent, like, Long, longer distance runner or steady state runner like in footy I was always could run one like, pace chase one pace you. chase is one what pace my nickname chase. used to be <laughs> and like when I first started you'd smash me in sprints like <laughs> and, it didn't last for too long <laughs> yeah and da my dad always used to say when I played footy and even juniors like you just look slow like I wasn't necessarily that slow but for my size I guess I was so yeah. I never had that change of speed um, and so yeah now I can see that like the work of just sprinting once a week um, and just doing the act of sprinting like it's it, like anything if you don't train it you're not going to get any better at it and you you can't do it if you don't train it so yeah um, yeah I think that's definitely changed me in terms of my footy but I just love sprinting now like I think even when we went back into the lockdown things and like that that was my outlet was uh, just going in like you'd see people go for long slow runs and I'm like nah I'm just going to go and sprint because I know mentally it just I don't know you just forget about everything else don't you You're yeah just thinking about how can I get to that 50 meter mark as quick as I can A to B so, yeah mentally um, it's not as daunting is it as thinking nah. oh, I'm going to be running for an hour or nah. 10 k's or but 5 k's or whatever it's just, it is and... I, know, I feel more excitement about yeah, yeah. like moving fast it's yeah. like the lift like lifting you feel something different about sprinting and putting your body to its absolute limit like yeah yeah the long distance endurance stuff's never been a driver for me like people that love marathons and half marathons it's never something that's been on my bucket list but yeah the sprinting stuff's really something to look forward to and i think it's also that friendly competition we have mm. like now that i can do sprints on fridays with you and aaron and leon bays obviously and maddie you're a bit quicker than us but aaron yeah. and i are pretty similar um and Darcy isn't too far behind, but yeah. it's always good to give a bit of banter and make sure you keep him in his place. But yeah. Um, yeah, you can always feel like now that I've done sprints more, I know nearly in the first five steps, I can tell if I'm going to be moving well or if I've stuffed it up. Like, yeah, it, that's normally the difference between, especially over those little distances. Um, yeah, as soon as I get the start, I'm like, oh, no, nah, Aaron's got me or something like that, where, you know, if one steps out, you can feel it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's just lift and sprint. It's like what you've always said. It's just the community vibes. Like, yeah, yeah we finish sprints on a Friday and then we just sit and talk for another hour and a half or whatever. <laughs> it's just like, oh, probably yeah, should, go, dark. <laughs> should go home. Like, yeah. but we've seen each other all day. But I don't know. It's just bring something out. And you yeah. just don't want to leave it. Yeah, we people, love it. And like we say, like like you said before, like people look for that short-term instant gratification of going to the pub on a Friday or something to finish the week. But yeah. that is our version of going to the pub is we yeah. go and sprint and that's an epic way to finish the week. Yeah, debrief mm. the week, don't we? Yeah. Um, but again, like the sprints, I, I hadn't sprinted with most of the team at MMT, yeah. so I didn't know how they'd go because it is pretty daunting. Like we did it last Friday, we did the full program that we were going to do. Um, and maybe on paper, it doesn't look that much. But it's pretty like when you're going 100% for all those sprints, yep. the one two 150s, 
and the Judds, it's, yeah, you yeah. can't just roll it. Look, some people did roll out and do it, and yeah. they, yeah. They, they, they I, paid for it. They paid worry. for it, but paid. I was so shocked they got through it. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, it's a good effort to get through the, the 150s and the Juddies when you haven't done them before. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah. You're yeah. going to perform a lot better if you have put in the work. That's to right. Yeah. Consistency over complexity. So you got to, you are what you repeatedly do. So if you want to be a, have strength, you got to keep on doing strength work. You want to be fast, explosive, you've got to keep on doing explosive, fast work. Yeah. So. But then also right. that, just the, the gas that we put in at the end is always yeah. just that little finisher. Like, yeah, yeah. the main work is the acceleration, the sprint stuff, but yeah. it's always good just to push yourself yeah. in that aerobic Hard stuff. Lungs. Yeah, a yeah. bit of, it, Cause like he always, he, Ninja always says, he's got so wise. He, I really <laughs> come back, I'm just talking to people, and I'm like, just Ninja always says this, and Ninja says <laughs> that. And, um, but yeah, you know if you've had a crack, don't you? Like, yeah, your internal barometer. Internal barometer. You know, like, if you yeah. get to the end of a jar and you're like, yeah, I liked that. Yeah, you probably yeah, haven't yeah, done yeah. it. You haven't had a crack. You're like, kidding yourself, aren't you? If you get through three jars and go, yeah, yeah. I liked that. Yeah. No, you yeah. haven't done. Yeah. You don't like doing them, but you, yeah. you like completing them, knowing yeah. you've. I can put yeah. in yeah the 80 um, percent then the 100 percent yeah that change of pace change like direction yeah yeah it's, and uh, even that like, that's my if i'm gonna, gonna do an extra running session that's the sort of stuff i do because yeah. i'm not interested in just steady state running like yeah. i just don't enjoy it's it not relevant to, no. to life or to football or to that's whatever right. sport you want to do so yeah so yeah sprints is just one of the yeah i think more we always say more people need to do it but Again, I think it's the act of like sometimes going for a run is just easier. Like you don't yeah. have to set up the track. You can just yeah. roll out and do it where yeah. sprints and it's hard to fucking sprint as hard as you can. I guess people like, not not to say your age, but your age, like yeah. they think, no oh, if, I, if I sprint, I'll do a hammy or yeah. I'll pop a calf or yeah. something like that. But yeah. no, again, if you build yourself up and condition yourself to it, and yeah, you've got to give yourself a month until you actually properly having a crack. You can't yeah. just roll out and do it. That's right. Yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah. Anyway, I'll... Hopefully that covered it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll change the subject a little, a little bit. We'll go back. So, our, Jace was uh, equal with Das with our runner-up in the Practitioner of the Year. Tash won it this year. Tash so, won it, yeah. So, it just shows your consistency and, yeah, just, you're the workhorse, you know, you, you do... <laughs> Put in do the grind. Yeah, you're the consistent, man. You're yeah. just, you know, you're regimented, aren't you? Yes, so I've consistent. been told that I'm pretty regimented <laughs> yeah. and uh, pretty got, on the clock. It's got to be... Good systems. <laughs> yeah, good systems. Yeah, yeah. Everything's got to be in its place, you know, you clean your room, you have your lunch at certain times or whatever it is. Yeah. No, it's not always the same every yeah. day, but like, I, my consistent. weeks my weeks are pretty consistent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so That's good. So I'm going to fire a couple of questions out. Quick answers, quick questions, Oh, here quick we answers. go. Okay, so where's your favourite place in the body to treat? I think I like hips and lower back, like that pelvic region. I think it's yeah. a, there's just so much that can go on at the pelvis. So yeah. I think, yeah, a lot of pe a lot of issues in bodies yeah. come from that yeah. area. Yeah, so, you get a lot of satisfaction out yeah, of that. Yeah, and I think then people there. generally yeah. with that area, you need to build up to doing the corrective exercise, the strength stuff, and that's yeah. where we can get people deadlifting and yeah. stuff like that. And that generally people with back pain or hip pain have been told don't squat or don't deadlift, yeah. you'll make Bullshit. it. Yeah, so <laughs> I think yeah. that, that area is probably my favorite. Yeah, so if me and you are gonna run a workshop anywhere in the world, where would it be? Where would that place be, man? <sighs> Cassidon. <laughs> yeah, Cassidon. Yeah. Uh, we would get the local farmers down. Yeah. No, I think um, somewhere over in Europe or America would be cool. Like, yeah. yeah. Go over there. Yeah. So they, they can come and do workshop with us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I reckon that would be pretty cool to travel yeah. over there and do stuff. Yeah. yeah. And one more, 30 seconds or less, how would you sum up MMT? Best place in the world. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That. I think, oh, sorry, Leo, I'll just hit ya. Um, yeah, I think we had our final team meeting on Wednesday, a couple of days ago, and yeah, just, I think the, the Christmas party and Friday, and it's just a different environment. Like, yeah. no one else is challenging, like, people, I've told clients, like, what we, the challenge we set for our practitioners, and so many people are like, oh, we I wouldn't do that, or I couldn't do that, but it's just a different place. Like, you get swept up in it, and it showed no one no one pulled out of the strength yeah. challenge no one pulled out of the sprints it just draws 
draws something out of you and yeah. um, just being around people that want to be fit, want to be healthy, but you also can help other people get fit and healthy and yeah. that they don't have to grind to do it. Like we don't do anything outrageous. Like we lift once a week and do a circuit, we do sprints. I might do yeah. another session in there when it's not footy season, but yeah. three, four sessions a week is max. And yeah. Two big ones. Two big it? ones is yeah. what the week's built around. And yeah, some people are slogging themselves five, six times a week, going twice a day. Like, mm. yeah, the body won't last with that. But yeah, it's mental as well, isn't it? You're not fresh mentally. Yeah. You're not kind of loving it. You're not looking forward to yourself. That's right. More, yeah, where if you've only got... punishment for yourself or something, you know, for what you ate or what you do. And are you really having a crack if you're doing that many sessions? Like, yeah. we do, yeah, lifts every week. You're yeah. pushing your body. Yeah. Sprints, because we're yeah. fresh. You're pushing your body. Like, you're not doing extra sessions and then going into those sessions those yeah. sessions being sore or being like, oh, I can't have a crack. We yeah. want to get ourselves right for those ones. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just love everything we do at work and yeah. just being around the team and yeah, yeah hanging out with it's you guys. It's common unity, isn't it? We're on a mission yeah. together. We're on a mission, yeah. We're all on the same page and yeah, yeah I just think, yeah, we can be ourselves. Like so yeah. many workplaces, you can't be yourself or you've got to hide something from people that yeah. we can just be who we want to and mm. Authenticity. Sh authenticity, show yeah. it to the world. And yeah. It's a risk right. when you're authentic because not everyone's going to like it. Yeah. Not everyone's going to like you. And I think just, I don't know, we've got our own, the way we do things and it's not the run of the mill mm. thing. And I think mm. something about that's cool. Just yeah. like the bear, even just bare foot. Yeah. The lifting's probably d unique to a lot of people. Like yeah. so many practitioners and oh, don't do that, do correctives. Mm. And yeah. But yeah. Yeah. I don't know, just, oh, cool. I don't want to be anywhere else. Like yeah. whenever people ask me like, oh, what have you done for work? I'm just like, here. Yeah. Like, oh, eight, eight years I've been, or seven or eight years I've been here. I'm like, yeah, yeah I love it. Like, why That's would cool. I want to change? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. cool. Yeah, thanks, AJ. So, <laughs> Hopefully yeah. I'll spat out yeah. something that yeah. you guys can nah, watch. It's good. <laughs> no, get to know Jace a bit more and um, how he goes about his um, physical fitness, the physical fitness challenge mm. we had for this year, strength challenge. Yeah. And um, body's an instrument, not an ornament. So, yeah, it was a bit different this year. So yeah. normally you'll just see us doing treatment. That's what we're renowned for. But we're also, big part is movement. Movement is medicine yeah. for the body and the mind and That's the community. Right. You know, it's sort of one of those things we're really into. So, so we just want to thank everybody for supporting us in 2022. And Thanks, guys. Yeah, we want to put out a big, big load of content in um, 2023. Yeah, so stay tuned. Stay There'll tuned. be more Stick epic stuff. Us. Yeah. We'll yeah, like, subscribe, all that, share our stuff. Let, it, let us know what you <laughs> yeah. want to see. And Anybody wants to learn how to do this, fucking look us up. We're, we're, we want to help the world, don't we? Get, yeah. get more people getting deep tissue stuff and That's getting right. them onto the, the good movement and good strength, good sprints, and earthing natural, all that kind of stuff. So. Living your best life. Yeah, so many people are suffering and yeah. hiding what they are or what they want to be or they're yeah. stuck in a job, but yeah. Yeah. don't have any of those you worries. turn it around. Yep, you can. Right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. We'll wrap it up. Done.